Today's topic is inspired by a question from The Real Spill on Reddit, who asked uh, which region is better at conquest or ranked in general, if it was an A or a U. And based on that question, uh, there was the, the question or debate on if the nationality of a player may influence their skill level. And this is what we're going to debate today. So first of all, most important point, just to get this out of the way, to answer this question in general, no. The nationality of a player alone will not determine if this player is better or worse. There are good players and bad players in every nationality. And though it may sometimes seem like certain regions may play worse than others overall, this is most likely more of a confirmation bias because you see those players and you pay attention to them. There are certain factors that come into play when it comes to how good players are and so on though. The first important point is language barrier. For the longest time, I would say the, that EU ranked overall was worse than NA ranked, simply due to the fact that we have a lot of nationalities that have very different levels of English that they speak in, and that obviously leads to problems. So for example, when you have a French person that can speak English but doesn't feel confident speaking English on Kerr's voice, then that could be something that leads to issues with in-game communication if the other four players go on Kerr's voice. Now these days hardly anyone uses Kerr's voice, but that's just an example from back in the days. Recently uh, this has changed a little bit. We had a lot of complaints from NA players about people from the LATAM version coming over and those supposedly playing worse. Now there are obviously the same issues coming into play really for the first time. There were not many people playing on NA servers that didn't speak English prior to this and with this shift in players with the level up servers allowing you to transfer to the high risk NA servers there were a lot more players that didn't speak English so for the first time they really had to deal with that problem of a language barrier that has been existing in EU for much longer and that obviously leads to a lot of uh, conflicts, especially in the early stages, and a lot of trouble in how to coordinate things. Also, without wanting to insult anyone here, there is the issue of the level of play surrounding you. So, LATAM was formed later than the NA servers, because it was uh, something that was done in cooperation with Level Up later than the original servers came out, much later actually. So the player base was mostly newer. Many of the players that played prior to that had actually stayed on the NA servers and didn't even want to change. So there was a whole pool of new players that basically didn't have the same experience as the NA players already had. And as such, the competition around you isn't that great either. If you play on these servers, then you will have players that are not ex as experienced and you can perform really well by those standards because there are not too many players that are playing on the theoretical highest level. There are not that many players with that much experience that you could compare yourself to, and you will have a harder time improving. If you're actually better, you will still not be able to improve as well as easily because you don't really get the practice against equally skilled players that easily. So when the switch was made, you had a whole region of less experienced players coming into a region of more experienced players, and this, therefore there was some level of, of skill disparity, not saying that this is the truth for every individual, there were people that transferred over and then transferred back as well and stuff like that. So this is not nothing you can make a major case out of, but there is a clear disparity in level of skill overall. And that's not because Latin players are inherently worse by any means, it is because they had less time to practice as a whole region. The same is actually true for console as well, you would notice that quite frequently, that the console meta is starting to form its, its own path, but for a very long time it was just dragging behind the PC meta in a way, with the patches being delayed and stuff like that, and uh, therefore didn't necessarily always have a good reputation in that regard. This is something that's shifting as well over time. Obviously the experience increases and old players drift off and stuff like that. So that plays a factor again. But we're talking about how it originally was. On top of that, there is a disparity between cultures that may seem like a different level of play at first. This is nothing that I would necessarily credit to whole nationalities, but there's at least cliches in that regard. That certain nationalities are, for example, more 
emotional and therefore also get get more upset easily and stuff like that maybe get more aggressive or maybe have a more aggressive play style than others where others may have a more calculated play style a more defensive play style stuff like that that just kind of comes with the character of a person and maybe some of this can be credited to the person's personality uh, based on their nationality though i would still say it's mostly due to their own personality and the nationality only plays a minor factor in that Last but not least, there is the factor that many of the people that cannot speak English are often those who are either very young and not very experienced at playing the game or those who didn't enjoy the best education, simply didn't have English in school and stuff like that, which generally speaks not for the highest level of education. Nothing that would apply in all scenarios, but it is often the case. And as such, that means that maybe those players either being less educated or young, may not be the best to make high-level strategical decisions. Not saying that any, anyone who is educated automatically makes those high-level decisions, but it may be a minor factor, especially the age could play a little bit of a bigger role here. And this is, for example, especially true for many Spanish players. There are a lot of good players in Spain. There are a lot of non-toxic players in Spain. And a lot of people don't believe this when I say it like that, because it's like, wait, but if I see a Spanish player in ranked, then they are often BM or stuff like that. And that's because you won't notice that they're Spanish. A Spanish person that is well-educated and is a little older is most likely able to speak English. And when they are able to speak English, then they will most likely speak English in a game like Smite, where most of the communication takes place in English. As such, they have no reason to tell you that they're Spanish and you will not notice and you will not register them as a good Spanish player. You will register them as a good player but you don't know where they're from. You will only notice that somebody is Spanish when they write Spanish. And that's usually younger players, obviously, who don't speak English very well. And this is a, a scenario or a case that has kind of developed in the Smite team due to a YouTuber, I actually don't remember the name, who was originally making Minecraft videos, and as was a really big YouTuber, and he then transitioned to making Smite videos along with that. Now, if you know Minecraft's target demographic, without wanting to step on anyone's toes, anyone is free to play Minecraft if they want, then you know that most of that audience is relatively young, and many of them are still kids. And so those players would then try out Smite, because their idol would play Smite, and they would come into the game and not be able to speak the language and maybe not uh, be able to comprehend the whole concept or complexity of the game to its fullest. I'm not saying that Smite is ultra complex, but for somebody who comes from building things with unlimited time in Minecraft, there is a whole different dynamic to Smite that will take you a lot of time to transition if you're not used to playing video games beforehand. So without wanting to change the community, this YouTuber may very well have uh, brought in a large chunk of, of Spanish-speaking players that are simply very young and uh, not able to speak English because his channel is purely in Spanish as well. So that's something that factors in and may give you the impression that, as with this example, Spanish players may be worse at the game when in reality it's just a certain fraction of the Spanish player base that happens to be very young and not speak English that is not performing on the same level as many others. Now, to bring this to closure, once again, I do not want to step on anyone's toes here. I do not want to offend any nation, and I will make this very clear once again. No, your nationality has no direct impact on how well you play. The factors that have impact are things like personality, age, education, practice in the game, and your surrounding players, the surrounding environment, and how good those players are. And all of these can, to some extent, be affected by your nationality because your region may be at a disadvantage for certain reasons in that regard. So, in the end, if anyone had the same time to play the game and everyone was the same age and had the same experience, then I would say every region would probably be very, very equal. And every nationality would be very, very equal. That's simply not the case because this is not how Smite grew as a scene. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you for the next video tomorrow. If you want to support me and my stream, I'll be streaming in on Monday around 7 or 8 p.m. CEST and on Tuesday. And with that, Geek Sloth out.